YouTube, good morning guys, Facebook, today is May the 12th, it is, um, it's pretty early, I, my daughter missed the bus this morning, it's about 7.30, but I was planning on getting up early anyway, because one of my um, my colleagues and also one of my uh, mentees, uh, David Shaw, he's from Chicago, he's actually in town purchasing some new equipment, so I'm going to go meet him before I go off and do my screen and recode today in uh, Conyers. And then I have two consultations later on after that. So anyway, guys, um, I want to do a message, a tip of the day, small business tip of the day, especially for uh, entrepreneurs. Maybe uh, if you're considering becoming an entrepreneur, okay? Uh, the reason why I say this, I had a young gentleman reach out to me last night that follows me. And of course, you know, people see what I do in my business. You know, they see the type of income I'm making. They see my business model. And um, he said a statement that I hear a lot. And he said, Courtney, what's up, man, man? I, I'm, I'm trying to get that money like you, man. I, I, I want to make some money, too. And uh, I let him talk for a while, you know, just try to listen to him, you know, see where his head was going and uh, where his language was coming from. Because that's what I do, guys. When I when, when guys reach out to me, I, let, I just let them talk. Because when they're talking, I'm listening. And I'm just basically picking, you know, um, the information that I need that I can help them on, right? So after he talked, I told him, I said, "Well, you want you you, you want to hear you want to hear something? I'm going to tell you something you might not want to hear." I said, "You don't want to make money." He said, "Huh?" I said, "You don't want to make money." And he got quiet, and that's what I want because when he got quiet, it tells me he's he's thinking, he's a little confused. And I said, "Let me tell you," I said, "I used to be just like you." When I started my business, I just wanted to make money, okay? But I realized since I since my only objective, my only goal was to make money, I was always chasing money. I was always working for people that I really didn't want to work for, but I had to work for those people because again, we was a perfect match. They were price shoppers. They wanted the cheapest price, I offered the cheapest price. So we merged, but guess what guys? Nobody, a lot of times, neither one of us benefited from that, 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 that transaction because guys, I tell you, when I used to work for these, those type of clients, it was frustrating. It was, um, it was just a whole bad experience. I wasn't making profit. I couldn't give them good services. Okay. Good, honest, uh, services because of, the, the, the my business model or the month the money that I was making didn't allow me you know to have the tools and the knowledge that I have now okay back then all right so we both was losing not only was I losing the client the customer at the time was also <laughs> losing right but again we both was just about the money okay we, they want a cheap price because all their main goal was was to save money find the cheapest person and I was one of those guys. So guys, I'm gonna tell you like I told this young gentleman. You wanna put yourself in a position not to make money, but you ready guys? To become a problem solver. Once I start changing my mindset over the years, and guys, it's not a it's not an overnight thing, it's not a light switch, but once I start building up confidence. Once I start building up myself, once I start revamp, you know, my, uh, um, in, 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 um, investing in my education, my knowledge, okay, once I start to change the appearance of my business over the years, guys, I don't, I don't, I don't go out here and chase money. My main objective is not to make money. My objective in my business is to help people with their problems. See, when you become a problem solver, right? Let's say if your transmission go down, right? My transmission on one of my trucks go down. That's a problem, okay? And I have mechanics that can help me solve my problem, okay? And that's what they do. You get sick, you go to a doctor, okay? You're going to the doctor because you have a problem, okay? So, so my thing is, like I told this young gentleman last night, is you want to put yourself in a position where you become a problem solver, okay? And when you become a problem solver and a good one with a great reputation, you don't have to worry about making money because the money will follow. It will come, okay? Guys, I get calls from around the country every single week with people that have problems with their wood floors. 
Courtney, I see you on YouTube. I'm in Texas. I'm in New York. I'm in California. I'm in Washington. They have a problem. And they're trying to find someone that can help them with their problem. And they know they have to pay for someone to help them with their problem. But that's not their, just like me making money is not my main objective. Those type of clients, them paying is not their main focus, okay? Their main focus is to get their problem solved. And when you become a problem solver, guys, it puts you in a whole different category than most people, especially in this type of industry where everybody just want to make a quick buck. Everybody just want to make money, okay? Two days ago, you guys see the jobs that we do almost every single day. $5,000 to remove wax from these people's floors. When I went out, when the wife found me, she found me on YouTube, that's all was her issue, finding someone that can help her with her problem, okay? It wasn't about the money. Okay, it's just it's just it's just my price. Okay, I, I you know I, I tell guys I see so many guys and and um and I have clients that tell me Courtney thank you for giving me the estimate before you left because we deal with other contractors and we have to wait two three days just to get a price. Now I know reasons behind that, but I'm not going to get into that. Okay, that's another another story for another day. But I just give the customer it's a price here. It's a price. Okay. And because a lot of us are, 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 are special contractors or, you know, people that get into business, it's like we're afraid of price. Because you know what? I used to be that way. I used to be afraid to tell people high prices. But see, it was high to me, but it doesn't mean it was high to them, you know? So my thing, um, you know, to any of you who are watching this video, if you are in business or you're considering getting in business, change your mindset, guys. This is what I do. I help people change their mindset in business. Problem solving, okay. You learn how to be a problem solver, and you have a you have a a service, okay, or a a product that can help people solve their problems. You don't have to chase money. I've been there. I've been on both sides of the field, so I know what a lot of guys are going through. All right, guys, reach out to me. They see me on YouTube. They want to learn hardwood floors. You know what I do? I don't help them make money. I help them create opportunity. Again, I show them how to become a problem solver because wood floor maintenance is a service that it's really an untapped market, an untapped market. So many people have issues with their wood floors. As I'm sitting here doing this video right now, there's somebody who, who's going to the store today to buy one of those products to put it on their floor. And guess what, guys? They're going to create a problem. They don't know it, okay, but they're going to create a problem, and eventually they're going to need someone to help them solve that problem, all right? So that's the thing is that, you know, business is good, okay, but it can also be bad. I was there. I'm just I'm just uh, uh, grateful, all right, that I was able to, 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 to move through and hurdle through my tough times in business. I was able to revamp my business and build up a business with a great reputation and instead of chasing money helping and focusing on helping homeowners and our clients solve their problems we do that guys we don't worry about making money okay because the money follows all right guys hopefully this video can help somebody thanks again for watching see you in the next one